Hi, I'm Scott Kingsley-Clark, and I'm from the Paid Memberships Pro team. I'm excited to introduce a new Paid Memberships Pro add-on for pods integration. Follow me as I go through some really exciting functionality here. First thing you're going to want to do is go and make sure you have the Paid Memberships Pro plugin activated and that you have the pods add-on activated as well. And of course, you're gonna need pods activated. In this case, I'm running the new beta version of pods 2.8. This is gonna be a requirement. So you, in, in order to run this add-on, you're gonna to need to have pods 2.8 or greater installed. You're gonna to wanna to go to the pods admin area and add your very first pod. When you're creating your pod, you have the option to create a new content type a brand new one, or extend an existing content type that's already in WordPress or from a plugin like Paid Memberships Pro. So we're gonna to choose to extend existing. Now we're gonna choose from the content types list, the type, and this is gonna be PM Pro member. We also have order and membership level. We'll start with member. Now that it's extended, all we need to do is start adding some fields. For my first field on this, I'm going to add just an extra checkout field. Let's just call this one t-shirt size. So t-shirt size, and I'm just going to go ahead and choose one of the cool options here, uh, relationship. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and make this a custom defined list. I'll say small, medium, large. and save that field. When I save this pod, now that I've created my field, I need to make sure I have it showing up in the right places. So I need to go into my group. This is the first group I have more fields. I'm going to go ahead and go here to PM Pro Options. And this can define where it's going to go. So is it gonna be the front facing profile or maybe the dashboard profile? I wanna make sure it's in both. So I'll go ahead and save that. And I can also choose whether or not it shows in any checkout, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this here. It's gonna go on checkout and in the profile. Let's do everything. And I'm gonna save everything. Now I'm gonna go to my profile and I should start to see my field show up. So there's my field. I can see the values and I'm gonna update. And after updating, I see the value that was saved. So everything's working great there. Now, what does this look like on the front end? When if I go look at the checkout area, and I need to go choose a level. Let's go ahead and choose this test level here. Now in this checkout field list, I will now see my t-shirt size there. I can see I'm large. And then I can go ahead and check out. All right, I just saved my membership and I'll go ahead and go to my membership account now. I'm gonna go ahead and edit my profile. And because I had it set to show up on my profile, it shows up here. I can see small, medium, and large. That's great, so that's exactly what I wanted. But maybe I wanna show my field a little differently. Maybe under PM Pro Options, I'd like to require you to have a specific membership to be able to update that field. So you can see here silver, gold, test level, or my other test level here. I can require this by field or the whole group of fields, all my fields in a group. And this lets me choose here. I can say for this whole group, I want to make sure they are only, it has to be only if they're checking out for a another test level. Let's try that. And then show on checkout only for selected required membership fields. This means that even though they can only see this if they have this membership level, if they're checking out for that membership level, they can also see it. So I'm going to hit save group there, save. All right, so now when I choose a level to check out with, I should see only the field specified for that level I had chosen. So in my previous configuration for the field and the group, specifically from the whole group of fields, I chose to only show it for another test level. So let's go ahead and check this out. I can see it there. All right, perfect. So I, I'm not actually a member yet of this level, and I'm also on the checkout screen for this level specifically. So if I go and choose a different level, let's go ahead and go back and let's let's do gold. I wanna go down to the very bottom. I don't see that, I don't see that field at all. Let's try another one. Silver, 
no, nope, everything's perfect. So let's go ahead and do that checkout for another test level. And yep, so I see everything there. Everything is exactly as I configured that. So that is membership users. This means that this is applied to the users and checkouts. It, it's it, everything all together in that one object for pods. Let's go ahead and add another one. We're going to extend another one here. This is going to be PM Pro order. This is really cool. This is, this is interesting because if you are doing some really interesting workflows where you need to be able to add extra fields to orders to be able to track uh, extra information about an order, but it's not tied to the user, it's tied to the order, this is where you want to be. So let's go ahead and add another field here. And this one's going to be um, order uh, status from UPS. Um, th this could be everything. So actually, maybe you want to, um, let's do that. UPS tracking number for the order itself. Now this is very specific to the order. It's not tied to the checkout, not tied to the member. It is specific to the order itself. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. And now when I go to the orders area, and I can go edit an order. When I scroll down, there is my extra field right there, right there within my order edit screen. So I can do whatever I want and save that order. And you can see it saved it there. Also, whenever you have add new order, you also get this field as well. So this is really beneficial from many different types of use cases. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add another pod. Let's extend an additional PM Pro one. This one's membership level. This is another really cool, unique type of way to use pods and PM Pro together. So let's add a field here. So this is gonna be level um, heading text. And I'm gonna save that field, save it. All right, now when I go into the membership level section under settings, and I go and edit the silver one, I can see at the very bottom here that my more field section is here. I've got my level heading text, um, custom silver heading text. And now whenever I'm actually doing the stuff I want to do with templating, if I want to customize all my stuff as a developer as with PHP, I can then I can then go and add extra stuff on my template that pulls in this information I've already defined in my level form here. So this is another really cool use case I wanted to show off. It's 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 interesting that um, pods can do so much with Paid Memberships Pro beyond just what you might think out of the box for checkout fields. Thanks for watching. With Pods and Paid Memberships Pro together, you can do some amazing things. Go ahead and check out the Pods add-on for Paid Memberships Pro. Thanks.